morning. Good morning. It From... is rainy. Yeah, it's a bit damp. Damp. Yeah. Drizzly. <laughs> but On these... the new Junction Canal. Yeah, these moorings are 24 hours. So we're going to move on this morning towards Ghoul, yeah. which we're very excited about. Oh yeah, Ghoul is exciting. <laughs> Don't judge it before you've been, just because my dad's told you about it. <laughs> I, I have no idea what Ghoul's like. I just find it funny that it's called Ghoul. It's like, <laughs> it's like excellent. It's full of the undead. That's so, what you should expect. Basically, we've got to head in a dead straight line this way, then turn like 80 degrees at Hard the junction. Left. And then head in a dead straight line again. Yeah, then there is a sort of 45 degree change and then we end up on a really straight line. So the interesting thing is um, the canal runs along a section of the Don River. Yeah. That isn't actually a section of the Don River. It was cut uh, okay. entirely by a Dutch gentleman um, to relieve the Don, the threading, flooding pressure on the Don. And so where the Don used to just sort of meander all over the place and flood everything. There's now this channel that runs beside where we will be. And, uh, yeah, apparently you can still navigate it if you're on, like, a sailing boat and you know what you're doing and, you know, you're there at the right time. <clears throat> but we ain't trying that. We're going along the cut. And uh, it's going to be a long straight line with a stretch of water that is just as long and just as straight beside <laughs> us. And it's new to us. Once we turn at the junction, we'll be on new water. Yes, so, truly new. All exciting. Definitely looking forward to getting to the end of it, where we will turn onto Old Water, the Trent, if plans go as plans are currently planned. Yeah, so hopefully we'll do that quite soon. And, um, yeah, it's about seven miles, did you say? Uh, well, it says, our map says eight miles from the junction right. to Ghoul, but it's a little unclear if that's the Ghoul Harbor or if it's the lock okay. above Ghoul Harbor. We have to go through the lock to get to the moorings. Oh, do we? Uh, in Ghoul, yeah, where the where, where the um, service point is. Oh, I didn't know that. Or we can stop at the road bridge before Ghoul and have moorings there. Directly? Yeah. I think we I think get to Ghoul. All right, well, either we'll, one. We'll see how rainy it is. <laughs> <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Right, we're on our way. That is Cycehouse lift bridge behind us. No, we didn't leave it open. It's currently out of action having some maintenance work done and it's been disabled. We're on the new Junction Canal, which is part of the Sheffield and South Yorkshire navigations. It runs between Bramath Junction and Cycehouse Junction, where it meets the main line of the Air and Calder navigation. Arguably, the defining feature of the new Junction Canal is that it runs in a dead straight line. These aqueducts carry us over the River Went. The River Went joins the River Don in a few hundred metres, and when I say the River Don, I mean the Dutch River that Michael was talking about at the beginning of the video. The water management around here is just fascinating. It turns out there's some visitor moorings here too. If we'd remembered them, we may have continued this far last night instead of stopping at the bridge. As we turn onto the air and call to navigation, we're somewhat alarmed to see the expanse of the Southfield Reservoir ahead of us. I mean, it's clear which way the navigation goes and there's no danger of drifting onto the reservoir due to the huge rocks blocking it off, but still, we weren't expecting this view. The reservoir looks massive, but apparently it's only a few feet deep, but that's deep enough to accommodate a sailing club and lots of fishing.
landscapes are really flat along the floodplain and we get a view of the Drax power station in the distance. There's the cooling towers of Drax again. One more almost 90 degree bend and then it's pretty much a straight line from here to Ghoul. There's rather an unusual frame above this bridge. I assume it's to give the structure strength and to stop it from warping. There used to be some old tile works along the banks of the navigation here. The only evidence of industry left visible from the canal is that chimney ahead. Back onto the motorway. This is the same motorway that we crossed yesterday on the Stainforth and Keeby Canal. No doubt the cars above do the same distance in about five minutes. The navigation seems to get even wider after the motorway bridge. What a sad old building. This is Rawcliffe Bridge. For clarification, the hamlet we're passing is called Rawcliffe Bridge. It's not just the name of the bridge. It's part of the same parish as the village of Rawcliffe, which is a few miles from here. There are some visitor moorings here, as well as quite a few private moorings on pontoons. There's also a hotel and a bar here too. On the other side of the canal is a huge industrial site. Like I said, the navigation is dead straight along here. At one stage there was a swing bridge at this location, just a few remnants left. Ahead of us is the Port of Ghoul, home to some huge boats, as well as some smaller ones like ours. And there's the XO Pride. All the Canal and River Trust visitor moorings are full, so we carry on a little further. It looks like we can top up with diesel here if we need to. We find a lovely mooring that belongs to the Ghoul Boathouse and they very kindly let us stay.
Welcome to Sunny Ghoul. So sunny. <laughs> it's cold. So I'm sunny, in fact, that I don't need these things. It's quite bright. It uh, is pretty bright, but it's not bright enough to be sunny bright. I quite enjoyed that little cruise. Yeah, I mean, considering it was uh, eight miles of mainly straightaway. Yeah. Um, very wide. Absolutely no worry about running into anything. <laughs> It's kind of like yesterday when they were like, did you see a tree down in the canal that's far too wide to care about trees? <laughs> nope, didn't see it. Yeah, Ghoul is interesting. There's a lot of boats there. <laughs> lots of boats, lots of old boats. Lots the of XL big... Pride is here, the oil boat that actually does still travel up and down towards uh, towards Doncaster. Anyway, um, a little bit past Doncaster. It begins with R. Rotherham. Rotherham, that's it. Yeah, so uh, it's just sitting still over there, not actually moving, so we didn't meet it or anything. But... But if we had, it wouldn't have been a boat because it's so wide. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, lots of big boats here. I don't know where they go, but... No. no. One of them's an aggregate boat. A couple of them have been seemingly old uh, other oil tankers and gas tankers and stuff. I mean, it feels a bit bleak here, especially like the weather not helping and it's just flat and you can't see anything. Well, as far as I can tell, this is just the weather that is associated with every port town. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I'm quite up for going for an explore. Michael's less up for going for an explore. Mainly just because my foot hurts. Mm. But the, the messed up tendon in my foot, it hurts from time to time. And right now it's hurting pretty bad. Yeah, fair but, enough. Uh, but we can go for a bit of a walk. Might have to replace a gas bottle. Might do that tomorrow. Um, well, I was thinking we'd be out on the use tomorrow. Well, you're keen. <laughs> I thought I'd have a day off before okay. tackling the river. Plus, I want to talk to the lock and everything ahead of yeah. time. So, well, well, we can do that now. All right, we'll do that now. <laughs> And it's really nice to be somewhere completely different. And now for something completely different. <laughs> okay, not that different, but I feel like... Yeah, I'm like, you know what, there's water beside us. It's not really that different. I mean, you know, if I was looking at a canyon, that's different. Mm -hmm. Everywhere we've been recently, we've known we were going to come back along that route. But here, this is the only one and only time we'll be here. Yeah, well, probably. Not, sort of. Sort of knock wood. Yeah. <laughs> like, God, if things go wrong with the tide on the way down, we might end up back here. <laughs> famous last word. <laughs> yeah, always, always famous last word. Yeah, but um, no, you're right. But primarily, this was this is a one-way direction. No loop is intended here. So, yeah, that feels uh, or nice. at least no, no, not no loop. No, um, no retread is retread. Yeah, there intended and back. Here. So uh, that does feel good. And then there's the Pocklington, which is still closed, and we did hear that it's definitely still closed. But they're hoping that it's going to open very soon. So. Yeah, like within the next two or three days. Because, as you might guess from this, there has been some rain. <laughs> and um, if it doesn't open, then... Oh, it's a boat. Mm -hmm. Really easy. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> if it doesn't open, then we'll go to the um, the Yorkshire Ooze and the Ripon instead. And then it's just a little bit to come back to go up the Derwent and Pocklington. So that's... I mean, we could just decide to do that anyway. Yeah, I'd rather... I'd rather do it on the way up yeah. because that means that on the way down we wouldn't end up having to try and do uh, enter Selby Lock from sort of the wrong direction. Yeah, okay. So, uh, not that it really matters, but one way or another, I'd, it'd be easier on a navigation perspective for us to just do the Derwent to Pocklington and then go up. So, we'll see what happens in the next few days, I guess. But first, a little bit of exploration, a little bit of question asking, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. Yeah, all right. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and also don't miss Minimalist Maximal Velocity, our other channel, if you like a lot of time lapses, and uh, ring that bell if you want to get notifications. personality engaged, Michael. Good. Welcome to Narrowboat Gothic. <laughs> You're very dark. You've got the tree behind you. It doesn't look, that background's not working for me. Come over here. Alright, over here. This, that seems to be aimed a little extreme. That's <clears throat> there we go. The audio recording? Yeah.
Oh, George is thinking. Yep, George is doing it. Well, literally. Right on cue. Press record. Yes. It's like you know. At least he's off screen. Uh, there are some visitor moorings here, as well as quite a few private moorings on Poontu. There are some visitor moorings here, as well as quite a few private moorings on Poontu. Yeah. A little bit of information gathering, some reconnoitering. Reckon, I'm one, reckon, reckon, whatever. Recky. And then, uh, good? Yeah. All right. So, thanks for watching. Give us a thumb in. Mm -hmm. so